Hi, it's Trace from Purple Cats Quilting from Rimby, Alberta, Canada. We're an online fabric shop, and today we are featuring AO Creations patterns. So, AO Creations is Tara C. Sinclair from Calgary, Alberta. She um, check out her website, AO Creations. AO, you found me. She has so many fabulous patterns, and we have all the paper patterns in stock, including her latest two new ones so you can order them online at purple cats quilting just wanted to feature a few of her bags today first of all is the michael traveler and this was a bag of the month um, back in september i believe yes um, and so now we have the paper patterns are available and so this is a huge travel bag i just love this i made two of these already um, you can put baby twins two twin two two babies in here because how old were they about well, four months old and we put both babies in here I have pictures but it's just got so many pockets and zippers and straps I did the binding she has two different um, ways to finish the bag one is binding and one is to f turn it inside out I did the binding on this one I love it because it adds lots of structure to the bag of course I did it in my beloved Tula pink moon garden which I absolutely love used beautiful hardware from Emmeline Bags, rainbow hardware with her beautiful um, zipper pulls. All of my bag hardware is Emmeline Bags rainbow hardware. So you can check that out on Emmeline Bags. We do lots of custom kits and we're going to talk about that in a minute. The other new pattern by Tara Sinclair is her Louis waist bag and we have waste pack and we have the patterns now available the paper patterns you can go to AO creations and download them online sometimes it's just nice people will download them when the pattern comes out because they're so excited but they will also get a paper pattern just because the templates are there of the right size so we do have the paper patterns available we did make up a few of these kits this one is just so much fun it's a great so this is the larger size there's two sides to this bag and it's got a pocket at the back, big enough for my big iPhone, beautiful strapping. So this weekend is the Super Bowl. So we decided to have the Fabric Bowl for quilters. And these are our live infomercials, just like at the Super Bowl. So there's a movie this weekend, um, was brought out last week called 80 for Brady. And it's about a bunch of gals that decide they're gonna go to the Super Bowl. And one of them is Sally Field and she has her what does she call it? You know, this this is known as a fanny pack for those of us of our vintage. In in yeah, there's a really vintage. nice way of putting um, it. The the cool kids carry them as a Cross. crossbody bag, but Sally Field wants to call it a strap on. A strap on. So in the movie, she goes, "It's not a crossbody. It's a strap on when you wear it like this." So this bag is meant to go around your waist, but the cool kids wear it like this crossbody or strap on so if you have a chance to check out that trailer we're actually going there's a few of us gals going to that movie tomorrow so we have all of the patterns by Tara Sinclair so she has a Logan sling pack which is a great crossbody again Jesse crossbody the Billy backpack this one I'll just leave till the end because we're going to actually kit this one up live here on the camera. This is called the Keanu Backpack. A beautiful full-size backpack that has a padded sleeve in the back for your computer. And I made this. Believe it or not, I made this. This is pretty amazing because this was at a weekend retreat. Tara taught 25 people how to make this backpack. She is an amazing teacher. And before I forget, she's going to be at the Red Deer Quilt Show, May 12th and 13th. She's speaking, and your chance to meet her will be at the Red Deer Quilt Show, and she's um, offered to come and hang out in our booth at three o'clock on Friday afternoon. So like a meet and greet, you can come and get her to autograph your stuff. You can just come and have a chat. You can come and get her to autograph your patterns. So she'll be, that's the Red Deer Quilt Show, May 12th and 13th. You were gonna make this one next. I've this got is, that pattern. I've yeah. made a number of her bags and I love the way that she writes her patterns because uh, everything is 
so clear. So detailed. Yeah. This is the real convertible tote. She's been doing a lot of this teaching of this bag. What's really nice about this one is it can be a crossbody, it can be a grab bag, or it can be a little backpack. So that's kind of cool. So that's the Rio. Yeah, you've made her John Duffel. That's what the I'm missing John here, Duffel. the John Duffel pattern. Yeah. How come I am? wonder why I don't have those here? You've made that one. Yours was absolutely beautiful. This is the Bailey backpack, and there's two sizes. This is the mini, and then there's one a little bit bigger. I turned this into a glam pack. I put sparkle and jewels and tulip pink. Um, this would be just a fun little one to take out if you were going somewhere. But for great for kids, kids too. For oh, ones, yeah. uh, and I'm the biggest little kid you'll know. This is um, a pattern that she has on her website called the Owen Bag. And I love this one. It's foam. I love the technique for this one. And it has those B size style frames from Emmeline Bag. So when you st set it up, it holds itself open. It's great for shopping. This is a pretty glam shopping bag. And then I made this one here. Again, there's that nice opening, a place to put, you know, you could put a little pocket on the outside for ID if you're going to a retreat or maybe even your credit cards or something, because we all know we spend money when we go to retreats. What was really cool is at the time that this one came out, I started making the George. And so this is the George carry all. And I actually made both sizes. The larger size is what I call um, our, my pup's backpack when he goes to the bed and breakfast. So every time I get it out, that's where I keep all of his stuff all the time. He knows he's going somewhere for a visit. This is the regular size here, the carry-all. And the other one's called the... No, this is called the handbag. The carry-all's the bigger one. I'm sorry. So this one here has lots of pockets, lots of structure. There's an outside pocket that usually has snaps. I've modified it a bit. I just sewed it up. I didn't want to mess with the butterfly fabric here. That's the reason that I sewed it up the middle. So this one, we are kitting up for our friend Mary. And Mary decided she wants to make this size in tulip pink. And she really likes line works. So we actually did a video call with her. And she decided that, hmm... She really loved these lemurs. So that's going to be the outside of her bag. So that'll be like the main feature. That's the base. That'll be the base of her bag. It'll look really, really good. So that's this part right here. Then the polka dots will be at the top for her zipper gusset. And then we've got these beautiful striped zippers with rainbow. And this is the Emmeline Bags um, hardware again. So then we're going to give her a hand label, a handmade label. We've got the one inch hardware to go with that. We do have rainbow snaps, but I think she's going to finish hers just sewing up her pocket clothes like that. Oh, yeah. So then we got talking about this feature that I did here on the bag how I made that little hidden lining. You just sew it a little bit and instead of pushing it down when you're pressing, you actually make it peek out. So I called it like a peekaboo lining. Well, she picked, she likes pink. She picked hot pink as her peekaboo lining on those front pockets. That's gonna look really pretty because you're just gonna get a little sneak peek of that pink. And if you love pink, it looks really good. This is gonna be the lining of her bag, which is cotton, fairy dust in blush tulip pink so that'll be the lining of her bag which will look really nice with all of this it holds all the colors from yep. the dot yeah that's really what's nice. really nice the lemurs has the dots yeah. and then she's just going to put a few of the the little skunk the tulip pink line works here inside the pockets inside so that you just have that happy little surprise in your pockets so there's lots of different ways to create but we love this color combination. Then I have these Renaissance 
ribbon webbing. This was a custom one that I got back in the spring and she's going to use that for her strapping on her bags and for her handle. So that's going to look absolutely fabulous. So we will be kitting this up. It's a custom kit. She had emailed me a while ago asking about this and we were just waiting for the paper pattern so we could send it to her. So that'll be for the George Carriel. We do lots of custom kits here at the shop and we carry lots of bag making supplies too. So I think that's it. Uh-oh Creations, uh -oh creations.com. She's out of Calgary, Alberta. Check her out online. Have a great day.